Hello everyone, welcome to Global Online University. Uh, so this is uh, our series on uh, general aptitude. We will start with a uh, few questions on probability. Okay, so just for a quick recap, uh, probability P of an event is defined as number of sets, you know, number of elements in the event set divided by the number of elements in sample space. So you define S as a sample space so this is a set of all possible outcomes and E is a set of all outcomes in an event. So uh, for an example For example, take the case of uh, tossing of two coins, right? So, what is the no tossing of two unbiased? Unbiased in the sense it has an equal chance of getting an heads and a tail. So. So what is S? What are the total number of you know outcomes? Either you get both the heads or head tail or tail head or both tails. Okay. So what is number of elements in S? Four. So suppose we need uh, to find probability of getting one head and one tail. So what is our event? It's either HT or TH. Okay, so number of elements in E is 2. So the probability of getting one head and one tail is number of elements in E by number of elements in S which is 2 by 4 which is 0 0.5 okay we'll start we'll quickly start with uh, with our questions yeah so on the right side you can uh, you can see the question to get number tickets number 1 to 20 are mixed up and then a ticket is drawn at random what is the probability that the ticket drawn has a number which is multiple of 3 or a 5 okay so it's pretty straight uh, forward our sample space s yeah is nothing but ticket numbered 1 2 20 so the number of elements in sample space is 20 so and what is our event? Event is the ticket is a multiple of 3 or a 5. So what are the multiples of 3 and 5 from numbers 1 to 20? So we have 3, we have 5, we have 6 multiple of 3, 9 as a multiple of 3, 10 as a multiple of 5, 12, 15 is a multiple of both 18 and 20 so have I covered it all 3 is 6 9 12 18 5 10 15 and 20 so number of elements in the event is how much 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so it's 9 
so our probability is 9 by 20 so option D okay so moving on to the next question So bag contains two red, three green, and two blue. Two blue balls. Two balls are drawn at random. What is the probability that none of the balls drawn is blue? So our sample space S. I'll pick a different color. So sample space space S. <coughs> is that two balls are drawn at random okay so what how many number of such combinations will get so total number of balls is how much two red plus two green and plus two blue i'm sorry three green right so we have seven balls so total number of combinations you know it's, it's a pretty straightforward combinations questions question so so out of seven balls we are picking up two so this is 7c2 which is 7 factorial by 5 factorial into 2 factorial so this comes around 7 into 6 into 5 factorial 5 factorial into 2 factorial which is 2 so you go this so this becomes 21 okay so our event is none of the balls drawn is blue okay so none of the balls is blue so this blue shouldn't be in our event so that gives us that leaves us with five balls right two red and three green so again so number of such possible outcomes is out of five you need to pick two so five factorial by 3 factorial and the 2 factorial so this comes around 5 into 4 by 2 okay so this is around 10 fine so we'll jump here I apologize for you know so probability is number of events in E by number of comes in sample space so 10 by 21 okay so <coughs> for a quick recap you know uh, the sample space is the total number of outcomes when we draw two balls at random so for the sample space for the total number of outcomes we are drawing from is from seven balls right and for the event it says that it shouldn't be blue so that leaves us with two red and three green balls so we need to draw only from those five balls so it reduces to 5c2 okay and so the probabilities comes around 10 by 21 so answer is a So moving on, hope uh, the previous question was clear. This is quite similar. In a box, there are eight red, eight red, seven blue, and six green balls. Okay. So one ball is picked up randomly. So quickly, uh, what will be the number of uh, outcomes in the sample space? So there are 17, uh, 15 plus 6, 21, 21 balls. 
so you need to pick up one so it's 21 c1 and 21 okay so event an event uh, the what is the probability that it is neither red nor green so we are only left with seven blue balls okay so we need to pick one ball at random so 7 c1 7 so probability is n of e by n of s 7 by 21 1 by 3 option a is it clear so moving on I'm sorry What is the probability of getting a sum 9 from the two throws of a dice? So, our sample space is 2 throws of a die. Okay. So, what are the possible sums? What are the number of possible sums? Okay, it's 1 plus 1, 1 plus 2, 1 plus 3, so 1, 1 plus 6. 2 plus 1, 2 plus 2, 2 plus 6, and so on. 6 plus 1, 6 plus 6. This is 36, right? So, number of elements in a sample space is 36. So, what, what probability is he asking us? They're getting a sum of 9. So, what, what possible outcomes give us the sum of 9? Anything with 1? No. With 1, it's maximum 1 plus 6, which is less than 9. With 2, 2 plus 6, less than 9. With 3, yes, with 3, we get uh, 3, comma 6 gives us 9. 4, comma 5 gives us 9. 5, comma 4 gives us 9. 6, comma 3 gives us 9. Okay. So this is nothing but our E, right? The set of possible outcomes that gives us a sum 9. Okay, so what is number of such outcomes? 4. So probability is 4 by 36, 1 by 9, option C. Hope it's clear. So moving on to the fifth and the last question for now. Three unbiased coins are tossed. What is the probability of getting at most two heads? Three unbiased coins are tossed. So what is S? H, 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 Triple H, H. H T H T H H T T T H H T H T H H T T T H H and triple T. So what is the question? Uh, number of samples in S is obviously eight. Uh, number of events in S is eight and he is asking us probability of getting at most two heads two heads at most two heads so that includes zero heads one head and two head so zero head one head two heads one head two head two head so our e is everything except triple h Right, so HHT, HTH, 
HTT, DHH, DHD, TDH, TTT. So n of e is 7. So that gives us a probability of 7 by 8. So option D. Okay. This can, yeah. So hope uh, this is clear. So this is all for now. Uh, we'll be back shortly with a new set of questions on uh, many different topics of uh, probability and general aptitude as well. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for listening.